Okay guys, today we're going to discover the properties of quadrilaterals. Now, what are quadrilaterals? Quadrilaterals are four-sided shapes. And in the four-sided shape family, the quadrilateral family, there are six main types of quadrilaterals that we're going to cover today. Now, understanding their properties and understanding what features they have will make our working out of geometry later on much, much easier. In fact, the features that you need to know and that you're going to go through today are very important when you're going through geometry in year 10, 11 and 12. Let's go through the properties of these main types of quadrilaterals. First, we have the famous shape, the square. The square has four equal sides, as you can see, marked in blue. It has four right angles, meaning each angle is 90 degrees, marked in red. The diagonals of a square, they bisect one another. Bisect meaning they cut each other in half. So if one diagonal or if the diagonals are four centimeters long, they cut each other so each one will be two by two. So two centimeters on one side and two centimeters on the other side. So the diagonals cut each other in half, they bisect one another. Also, the diagonals, they bisect the angles that they go through. The diagonals bisect the angles that they go through. So the, the diagonal going through the square basically cuts the angle, which is the 90 degrees, into 45 and 45. 45 and 45. It cuts that angle into 45 on one side and 45 on the other side. And the diagonals also cut each other at right angles. So they bisect they intersect and they cut each other at right angles right in the middle as you can see marked in purple there. Then we have the rectangle. Now the rectangle is another famous quadrilateral. The rectangle has two long parallel sides marked in blue and two short parallel sides marked in red. Also the rectangle has four right angles marked in green there for you and the diagonals of a rectangle are equal to one another and the diagonals bisect one another, meaning the diagonals cut each other in half. So these are the properties of a rectangle. Then we move on and we look at what we know as the parallelogram. Parallelogram is or has the features that has two long parallel sides marked in blue as you can see, two short parallel sides marked in red and the opposite angles are equal. The opposite angles are equal and the diagonals bisect one another once again. The diagonals cut each other in half. Then we have the rhombus. The baby name for rhombus we know in primary school diamond but the most important for us to understand it is called a rhombus that is the mathematical name for it. Now the rhombus has four equal sides as you can see marked in blue. Equal opposite angles very important the opposite angles in a rhombus are equal and the diagonals bisect one another once again the diagonals cut each other in half and the diagonals bisect the angles they go through. So like a square, the diagonals in a square cut the angles they go through and in a rhombus, same thing, the diagonals, they cut in half the angles that they go through as you can see marked there with the circle and the triangle. Also, the diagonals cut one another at right angles. The diagonals cut one another at right angles marked in green there for you so it's easy to identify. Then we have the kite. Now the kite has two adjacent short sides so it's two, it has two sides that are adjacent side by side and they are short marked in blue and we have two adjacent long sides long sides marked in red so you can identify them and also it has diagonals 
and the diagonals are perpendicular. What does perpendicular mean? That they cut each other at right angles. They cut each other at 90 degrees. So the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. As you can see, they are marked in green there for you. And it has one diagonal that is an axis of symmetry. Now you've come across axis of symmetry. Axis symmetry meaning it cuts the shape in half. They are a mirror image of one another. The diagonal there going through straight down the middle is an axis of symmetry of the kite. And lastly, we have the trapezium. The trapezium is very special because it only has one special feature, and that is it has one pair of parallel lines. One pair of parallel lines. That's the only special thing about the trapezium. It only has one pair of parallel lines. So here, as you can see, the six main quadrilaterals that are in the quadrilateral family, the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, the rhombus, the kite, and the trapezium. Very important for us to know them all and know their features. It's going to help us out a lot when we're going to do, to do more complicated geometry questions in years 10, 11, and 12.